this is just a quick demo of the new VO camera app that's recently been released. You do need a certain version of the software on your camera to be able to use the app. After you've upgraded your camera to the necessary version, go to the App Store and search on VO Camera. From there, you can download and install the app on your phone. Once you have it installed, it told us it couldn't find our camera, so we clicked Set Up Manually. And once we clicked on that button, we had to enter in our VO Cam extension, our password. Once we entered those, we clicked the Connect button. It asked if we wanted to join. We said Join. Um, once that was done, then we could see the camera in the list. You can see we have the app open here and we have the camera um, set up here, connected or registered. So what you do is you go ahead and click connect. It's gonna ask you this, click join. At that point, once you're joined, it's gonna tell you to rotate it for the best results. You press the red button in the app to start recording and you'll know it's recording when the green light starts flashing. You can see the preview and you hit start there you go. So now it's recording. So at this point, um, you can also, there's multiple options at the bottom. Similar to the um, web app, the order of them has changed a little bit on the, the mobile app. So we're on the recording one here. Now you can see when we went and started it, you can then click on recordings and it shows you the recordings you've made thus far. Um, this is one that we just did. This is one we did earlier today. So it shows a little, nice thing about this is it has a little preview of it. Um, so that's a nice feature. In the web app, if you lose connection, you have to go back to your Wi-Fi settings of your device to reconnect. But in the app, if you lose connection, you can simply tap to reconnect, which is a nice feature. So if, so if you ever do lose connection, you just tap here and then ask you to join, you confirm. It says connecting. And then, so once you once you select a um, recording, you can actually, there's some options here. You can upload it, which obviously you have to be connected to do. You can delete it, or if you edit it, um, what, you, what you do when you edit it is basically, it allows you to um, change the name of it. That's the edit options there for you. So that, those are the, um, the list of the recordings. And then also there is the settings that you can look at. That tells you the time remaining on the camera, um, how much storage you've used, battery level, temperature of the camera, your software version. Um, this is basically the same information that the, the web app version shows here. And then once you are done, You can then, once you're done recording, then you click this stop button. And it's gonna ask you, do you want to stop recording? Confirm. You can click cancel or you can click stop recording. And that ends the recording. The difference is here, after you've stopped the recording, you can come to the recording list and if you want to, you can actually click here, click edit, and then you can change the name there. Before the web app, you have to, you know, save it when you stop it. Now that's a nice, nice change. The uploading step isn't any different when you're using the app. You simply plug your camera into the network and the upload should begin. Here is a side-by-side -side view of the same videos listed in the mobile app and the web app. The layout is different, but they both show the same information about your upload. One feature that would be nice to add is the ability to pause an upload and then start the upload of a different recording so you could control the order in which your footage was ready. Overview of how to use the VO camera app that was recently re released. It's something that we've been asking for um, since we got the, our hands on the camera and um, we're really glad that they put it out and it looks like it does what we need. And I'm sure 
um, based on their, um, their feedback process, they'll be continually adding to it. But for now, um, it does what we, what we need. So thanks to VO for uh, the new phone app. We hope this VO camera app demo was helpful for you. If you have other questions about your VO camera, you can check out our VO field guide at easysoccervideo.com. In it, we answer questions you might have about tripods or sharing your video or uploading your video or creating clips or managing the battery or going to tournaments. So if that would be helpful for you, be sure to check out our guide at easysoccervideo.com. <laughs>